Um, well, the Bible is my life. <laughs> um, it's God's word. It's his instruction for me. And uh, it's the old timers would say it's a road map. And it really has been leading me in a way that spirals towards God my whole life. And um, if I want to hear the voice of God, all I have to do is continue to put his word in me, which is his language. And he speaks to you through his language. And um, the more and more word I put in, put in from this word, from this Bible, the more and more I hear God's voice so clear in my ear. And um, it's been everything to me. It lets me know what path to take, how not to do a situation, how to respond how to get forward in life, all those types of things is in this Bible. Everything that pertains to life and godliness is in this book. Uh, ever since I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, May 4th, 2003, I've been studying and studying and studying and studying. Um, I don't uh, let a day go by where, a scripture, where this Bible is not open. And uh, because it's, it, it's so important, um, it's, it's the meat. And the Bible also says that... Uh, that he washes us by the water of his word. So if I want to continue to cleanse myself and get closer and become more like God, I have to read his word. It, it's also, the Bible says it, uh, in James that it's like a mirror. You don't go outside um, each day unless you look in the mirror because you want to see what's on you that's not good so you can fix it. And by looking at the word, it allows me to see the stuff that's not like God and fix it. Everything in every field, in every area, in every arena, it helps. And, and athletics, um, a lot of athletes deal with fear, they deal with worry, jobs on the line, and different things like that. But when you're a Christian and you have the word, it gives you all those things. The Bible says, God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Uh, it goes on about worry. Take no thought for your life. You know, um, by worrying, you can add a cubit unto your stature. All those different types of things are in the Bible, so it helps you on every area of your life, whether it's in front of a thousand people, whether it's in front of a couple coworkers, it can help you. Uh, it's, one of the, it's one of those things that, that the Bible just is a breath of fresh air and life to you. Um, no matter where you are in life, no matter if you're a non-Christian or you are a Christian, if you want to know um, the right road to take to spiral towards God, I suggest you read this Bible. Um, it's been around from emperors tried to destroy it, but the Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but his word is going to stand forever. And I just believe it's one of those things that if people want answers to life, it's already given to us in this book. Um, I will motivate them by saying if I didn't have the Bible, I truly would be dead right now. Um, it was one of those things that the scriptures that my grandmother gave me, the scriptures that people um, always came in my life and told me about, it gave me um, a God consciousness. We have a natural nature, but we have to learn our spiritual nature. And the way we learn that is through this word. So it's one of those things that um, uh, my grandmother used to tell me, you know, at times, you know, she would give me certain scriptures, you know, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So in those times where I was down to a young person, those times I was down, I felt like I couldn't make it. I realized if I really can depend on God, he can bring me through and help me to make it. So it's one of those things that, that the Bible is essential for Christian living and it's essential for anyone. It helps the morals of our society. It helps in every arena in our life. I, I would say, I would tell, tell the, the young people, uh, that God really wants a relationship with them. I would tell them that though you don't understand right now, take the opportunity to learn. See, one, one person always told me it, it, it doesn't cost anything to listen. It doesn't cost anything to learn or gain information. See, now once you've tried, and the Bible says that, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted him. Once you've tried it, then you can filter out whether you like it or you don't. But if you never give it a shot, it's on you. It's one of those things that somebody on the corner or somebody that doesn't have interest. If you can try and you need help in your family and your life to kids that needs direction, the Bible is the perfect direction for your life. It says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, 
and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is a generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Uh, that's Psalms uh, 24 and that's uh, 1 through 8. What's so powerful about that scripture is that no matter what goes on in my life, I know that God has ultimate control. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That means the system. That means my boss. That means anybody, uh, my mother, my father. God has ultimate control. So if I can impress God, he'll work everything out for me. It also lets me know that he's the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. So I don't have to fight the battles on my own. I can call on God and he can fight all my battles for me. And he's did that already through his son, Jesus Christ. So it's one of those things that constantly gives me encouragement. And it's a scripture that I love and I hold on to because life is filled with so many challenges that you got to fight so many battles. But if I can just put my battle in the Lord's hand, he'll fight it for me.